Hello my besties, welcome back to another episode of the Sexy Music Assassin's YouTube channel and today we are going to do an unboxing. So, 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 as you can see, I have a huge box here, okay? This is from Temu. So besties, I have a question. Why holding is a problem? First, besties, let's define hold or holding or holds generally okay this refers to the act of like gathering or buying things okay and we record them on a video short video or long video whatever it is so it is an act hauling is an action verb so hence okay if someone shows off the items they recently purchase so let's not use the word shows off because it's kind of like a harsh word so let's use the word to educate or to make you know to make it more community friendly i guess okay besties so i don't want to use that term show off okay because i do holes to hauling <laughs> Sometimes I go to Goodwill bins, okay? If I go to like Las Vegas, we go to Las Vegas. So when I go to Las Vegas, we visit the Goodwill, Goodwill bins. Okay? So you'll fill up your cart with brand new clothes, with tags. Some of those have tags, okay? Of course, and when you get lucky, okay, you, you can find brands like True Religion, Balmain, okay, Prada, Gucci. Sometimes, you know, one time I saw Louis Vuitton and this guy is the link. You only pay by pound. So what we have here is the hauling from Temu app. So here in Alaska, we do not have Goodwill bins. You pay the retail price, you know, and they're more expensive, literally expensive than Target and Walmart combined. So let's open this box. Okay, this is from Temu. Temu. So I encourage everyone to visit Temu.com. You will love all their cheap items there. So sometimes you can find 78 cents, ranging from 78 cents, 48 cents, okay, 98 cents to 2.99 above. So it depends what you're looking for. So some people who does hauling, you know, you see, you see besties of, you know, most often they get brands from fa fashion and beauty makeup brands okay they buy or the most expensive holes okay they can get you know from renowned brands famous brands like louis vuitton chanel and the gucci prada stuff like that okay so sometimes they do it out of you know if what kind of niche or niches they're in know from food makeups crafts arts okay so holes or holding are usually they are synonymous with a large quantity of purchases well so it depends what you do in your vlogs okay what you do in your vlogs though some okay can be more mindful okay more like friendly like traditional you know money wise okay for this video i'm talking about not unnecessary like holes and occasional holes or sale holes oh my gosh oh goodness what is this so bear in mind that you know i am absolutely like not shaming people for shopping fast fashion okay or whatever they buy out of necessity so i i don't have any personal problems with that it's your money okay besties but i say let's buy what we need and if it's really reasonable you know meaning prices okay then why not so some little things you know makes a person happy if that is buying something then just do it okay but all i can say buy necessity first what should you do? okay then the ones make sure they're not really financially over overbearing so it means it won't make your wallets have little holes or it won't drain your wallet. So, for those 
to the low-income folks, okay? They often participate in sustainable fashion out of necessity. So they have always been buying, like, less, thrifting, you know, minding clothes and giving and getting hand-me-down, hand-me-down, stuff like that. So on the flip side, okay, if you're doing, like, regular massive hauls, okay, you are generally or you're probably not poor i can say and you can afford more sustainable brands sure okay you won't be able to buy as much but the clothes you get will be better quality of course and it will last longer so the workers are usually treated better also as well so i acknowledge that avoiding that fast fashion completely is a privilege but if you have that privilege okay it's wrong to use other people's best advantages okay to justify your over consumption right. so fashion homes are almost never about the clothing itself so what are the other intentions oh my gosh what is this okay so when people buy a lot okay these massive homes they don't value that clothing really i'll just open it as we talk here okay you know as in and probably won't even wear in what is this in that much okay? so it's good if you buy this and you can donate it to your local churches okay or do a fundraising just for the children who are in need of food shelter and clothing so that is i think the most dangerous like aspect of holding or or holes okay is the social aspect social aspect all right so we have all these people right doing holes for one reason to gain followers then millions of people see these holes and are encouraged to do it themselves but me i don't i don't really i don't mind if no one will follow it's okay if you follow jesus jesus first okay and me last <laughs> or or me no <laughs> just follow jesus first. put god as the center okay in everything you do so he will bless you so making them think that you'll get like a viral video in one day or you make you'll be famous see what that perception of money and fame can do to a person so the worst part of this is that doing holes okay whoa doing holes okay becomes these influencers personal brands then when this sort of content goes like viral people follow you to see more cheap clothing holes okay so to keep your following and engagement you need to keep doing them it costs you money and this becomes a problem what are you going to do when you're in that situation please come in. so it's good right it's good if you have like a thrift store you can dress all those clothes then some percentage okay you can donate it to your charity of choice so let's just know that over consuming clothes isn't even a smart move it's not a smart growth strategy so it's great if holding or holes can help you consume less but it also speaks to a darker side okay of like a culture the consumer culture so why do we even enjoy watching people over consume they buy what they do need. but i don't mind small holes okay, they, here and there okay since it's fun to see what people have found okay it really comes down to whether the creators genuinely care about living more consciously so by the way thank you timu for giving me free products for our ts okay. thank you so much timu please visit timu.com they're all really really they have reasonable prices the chances are this is that we've all been like guilty of over consumption okay 
So this video is certainly not meant to like shame anyone. It, you know, I found pine holes to be an extremely like, interesting and also at the same time contagious, like, contagious social phenomenon. How you call it but, which is why i wanted to share my thoughts about holding so this is holding is good if it doesn't cost you anything if it's free then buy by all means it's it's okay to take it if it's free <laughs> like to move and thank the company to move okay who gave you free stuff right? if you don't spend all your paycheck all at once in one hauling you know then you're a winner 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 that only happens once in a blue moon so let me know how you feel about hauls okay why you think people do them okay and any defenses you've heard of them so please comment below and if you're new watching this video please don't forget to hit that like button share and comment all right, let's open this. Let's open this. Oh my goodness. Oh. Whoa, whoa. There's one that's open. Jesus. Hold on. Oh, they must have known that I love decorations. Decorations. <laughs> Too much decoration. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> my asthma. I don't know why there's like a. Oh, shoes. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, that's a lot of Oh my god, they must have known that I'm, I love washing dishes. Stay free stuff. Okay. Huh. What is this? Ooh, give me this too. Whoa. Alright, let's see. Later, there's a lot of this. What am I gonna do with it? Okay, so I gave both of this. Love our spoof pen. Oh, what is this? I see. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Alright, so let me see. Oh my gosh, what is this? Sure, this one is for me. Don't take a mud or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, besties, so this is from temu.com. Remember the flowers? 
when we were unboxing these ones are those flowers that I made all right so this is from Tamu and this is my project okay again thank you Temu.com for this lovely flowers that you sent me so look at that besties it doesn't cost a dime because this one is free Temu.com sent me lots and lots of flowers which I made it into this Alright, so this is really an awesome project. There you go. See that one? You can make use of this as your background for your vlogs or for like weddings and stuff. Oh, that's my painting. Remember that one? There you go. Alright, besties. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and comment below. Alright, so... This won't cost you like a dime. If if you were to like buy this, it's it's also cheap, better than you buy like a, a ready-made flowers. But this one I made this one from what Temu.com sent me. This one, see that one? A lot. I'll show you the final final product later. Alright, that's this again. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Love y'all.